So hello and welcome to a film mixologist, the place on the internet thingy where we buy cheap junk uh, just so that we can run a few experiments. Uh, case in point, this zenith card right here that I've got, uh, that I that I obviously I went on the internet and made a purchase, and this is what what came in the post. Uh, I'll show you now in a minute what well, what we're working with, uh, with a, in a, in a bit more detail. But, but essentially it's just a 30 VIN kind of carb and what I'm going to do with this unit is <clears throat> I'm going to try and see if I can um, clean it on the outside instead of doing my classic kind of ultrasonic cleaning and whatnot I'm just going to see if I can just blast it through with a power washer see if that works um, so I'll show you just how uh, what's the condition of this unit so that you can have an idea so you can compare with a bit later when I hit it with a power washer okay so this is what we're working with um, as you can see there's quite a lot of dirt especially around here especially here with the zenith thing is um, all the writing um, inside here it's not too bad actually in here there's probably a bit so what, what we're going to do now is i'm going to set up the power washer and i'm going to see if if all of these bits come out before i start taking this carb apart which incidentally some of the some of the things that come in this unit i'm going to use them as spares for another project but that's a point uh, for later in the video so for the time being, let's just set it up in the pressure wall. As you can see, as you can see here, um, the results are, you know, I would say okay, but not spectacular in any way. Okay, so it's been it's the next day, pretty much, or a couple of days later, I don't remember when I did the previous one. Anyway, so as you can see now, this unit is absolutely, <clears throat> you know, speak and span, very clean. Now, the problem is that well, one of the things why you need to get these units clean is because you need to, um, in a sense, measure the wear that the shaft has. Because look at this. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the sound of a shaft that is not going to seal very well. So that's why this carb wouldn't have worked very well. So what I need to do now is, what I'm going to do is I've got all sorts of drilling materials here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bronze bushing here. And in order to restore completely the, <clears throat> the opening so that the <clears throat> shaft might be in, in, in better condition. So I'll, I'll clamp it down in the, in the, in the drill. Uh, and I'll show you the rest of the the rest of the process. Okay, so now you see I've got the carburetor clamped here and it's right center. So basically, what I used is I used this kind of as a pilot uh, to make sure that it's this is aligned, uh, and therefore now I know that I can make the hole and it's going to be exactly concentric, which is what you want in this sort of situations. Okay, so. I think we've got ourselves a winner here. So let me show you a bit closer uh, what I've done. So as you can see right there, this is the, the new bushing with the shaft and look at that, absolutely solid. 
uh, which is how it's supposed to be. So now I'm confident that this is this has a good seal and therefore that that we're not going to get any air leaks through here so this cup is ready to start rebuilding now so this is always a good tip okay so we so we we've got to to a point now where, where we've got this unit um nearly buttoned up obviously i am ta 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 waiting on parts as i generally am uh, but they should be arriving in the in the next couple of days, hopefully. But um, this is a good opportunity to show you the basic components of this car. Um, and so let me let me bring you uh, like a little bit closer, so so, so I can show you what um, what I've done so far and how um, and what remains to be done. First of all, let's let, let's do the body. Um, obviously, it seems amazing that this was the, the same body as, as it used to be. Uh, but so the choke operates like this. So if I so it here's the accelerator and this is the choke lever. So it provides like that little bit of space for the throttle, as you can be and as you can see there inside there. And also, it's it's quite easy to. Um, to vary the, the regulation you can have a kind of much more aggressive opening or not depending on your kind of on customer taste so to speak obviously this has been fixed now and it returns to its place as it, as, as it should um, and this is the idle mixture screw so basically this is the idle circuit down here and this is the idle mixture screw and then let's do the rest of the car which is which is this this acts as a float as you can see here you've got the jets and the air correctors there the emulsion tubes and obviously this is the the, the float uh, and then you have got this this little element here that acts as some sort of auxiliary venturi ish <coughs> that goes here and obviously this requires a gasket which I'm waiting on uh, but once I get it it should be this should be really good to go um, so I'll show you the final the how it the final product um, how it looks on this scene okay so here what you can see is the unit uh, in its full splendor obviously I've added this uh, fuel inlet so you just put your fuel hose here and, and you're good to go. Um, obviously, I've received all the all the gaskets that I needed to uh, to put this unit together. Uh, but look at this; it's beautiful unit now. So it's completely it's completely rebuilt, perfect. So you add this; the, it's some sort of vacuum take off, maybe for a like a distributor as well. Um, <clears throat> so this is all now, you know, correct. So that's it. This uh, unit has been uh, completely rebuilt and it's ready to go. I have to say I've enjoyed I've enjoyed working uh, with this unit. Um, the, it is a let's say it's wonderful in in the sense of its simplicity. I don't know if it's got uh, a lot in the way of you know flow or performance, but that I think that's not the point of this unit probably this is more like up for a historical thing or just to have something that is you know period correct uh, this is probably like just after the war pre-war even but anyway um, hope you enjoyed it hope you got something out of it and um, I'll see you on the next episode